So here we've got Ed Parcel now moving on to his second favorite car, little Subaru 360 with flames on it. I don't know how he's going to handle this, but let's see if we, uh, we make it through this test drive. I'm sure you know how to drive one of these, don't you, Ed? I've driven somebody else that I was working on. Yeah. I haven't driven a sedan since, or my last sedan I sold in 1998. Oh, it's been a while. Uh, because most young people, at least, don't. Oh. Shouldn't need to use a choke, just uh, give it a little gas. Oh, it chokes down there. Yeah. Or should I? Let's see if it's. I don't, think it'll, I don't think it'll need choke. This one's really sensitive to the choke. There it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, this one hardly needs any choke at all. And I'm going to turn the brake off. There we go. Yeah, I, that was a sedan I bought for a parts car for, I think, $125. Oh, wow. Back in 77. Oh, I wow. found enough parts to get it on the road. And then. I completely restored it. Ah. Put all new chrome on it, brand new bumpers, yeah. brand new uh, fender shields, the uh, back fender. Yeah. New paint job, new upholstery, the whole bit. Ah. And the guy saw it at a show in, I think it was 95, maybe. One that I had in All right, so we made it back in the Subaru 360, and we parked it right next to, I believe it's a Toyota Don't Sports. Tell a whole story about how yeah, <laughs> 800, and um, yes, uh, Ed's right there. He got a good chance to drive our our little 360s, both of them, and um, we got a little story, a little backstory on the 360 sedan, but uh, we'll save that for story time. All right, we're safe and sound. Over now.